I got a little package from Erin Condren I thought I would share with you guys. Came with a newsletter, which is usually pretty interesting. Shows all their new products and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to kind of flipping through this. I didn't order very much. I know everybody's all about like all the new releases right now. I ordered some older things. So the first thing is this little planner charm that I got for my um, traveler's notebook. It's got my initial on it, J. And then I picked up the daily planning notepad thought that this would be nice. I'm trying to figure out my daily planning situation. I do still have the Erin Condren Daily Duo, which has the daily pages in it. I'm finding myself, though, with all of the problems that I anticipated having with that. Um, one, it's dated and I don't need it every single day, so I'm wasting pages. Um, it's also just the times on it are frustrating sometimes because I don't always need to map out like every single hour of the day so I feel like that's kind of wasteful so picked up a couple of daily planning options to try out in lieu of that so I got the little daily planning notepad I love to just do like a typical to-do list every day map out a few things so this might be a good option I didn't get it personalized or change any of the colors or anything. It's just like a typical daily planning notepad. And then I also got the monthly customizable calendar, the petite planner for my traveler's notebook. Um, I don't know what Erin Condren calls her traveler's notebook. If it's just the petite planner folio or so, I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but I do have that. And so I bought these books to go in that. So this is the monthly one. Again, it's undated, so that's nice. I can use it whenever I want. And then the daily customizable agenda, which is what I was most excited about because, again, it's the same types of planning pages, just in a notebook form, and they're not dated. So if I need one on a Monday, I can use it on Monday, and then I don't need it again until Thursday. I'm not wasting pages. So I'm excited to try this. I've not really gotten too much into the petite planner system. Um... But maybe it'll work out for me. We'll see. And then the other thing that I picked up was just a new cover for the holiday season. This is the green one that says Joy. It's got little snow on it. I think it's going to be super pretty for December. So that was it. Real easy peasy quick haul. I used um, some of my credits that I had with Erin Condren. So it was really affordable. And I'm excited about these things. All right, and I went and pulled out the other planner folio system things that I have in my stock here. And we're gonna try to put this together and make it work. So this is the folio that I have. I did look it up, that is what it's called. <laughs> uh, I always forget that for some reason. Um, I just have the black one. Thought that black would be a good option because it matches with everything. I've had this for a little while and I just haven't pulled it out to try to use it, so. With these new things, I thought it would be a good thing to set up and try out, uh, maybe for the new year, but I'm just gonna get it set up a little bit now and see how I kinda like it. So I have the black folio. I picked up these during their huge warehouse sale. Um, they're just the um, Jot Your Thought dot grid notebooks. And then I have the ones that I just showed you. So I'm gonna get these put in and put my little charm on and we'll see how it all looks. I think that this is so gorgeous with the black. That's what actually made me choose the black. Um, but I think these will look really nice with it too. I love this cover. The mid-century circles is my favorite Erin Condren um, pattern. So let's see if we can put this together and make something out of it. All right, so I got everything kind of put in there. I gotta be honest, I'm not loving this. Um, this particularly, like I love the little individual notebooks. I love the little petite planners, but this folio itself is very, very flimsy, which is not what I was expecting. The books don't fit in there super like lined up and pretty. Maybe it's user error, but um, it's just not like, 
doesn't look great how they're all kind of in there different. Some of these bands were really stretched out. Um, so I don't know, but I got the monthly customizable calendar in there and it just has like the blank month. I'm assuming it's got 12 of those and then the rest is just blank pages. So sort of like the um, monthly planner, the coil bound one that I love so much for my budget, similar to that, only the notes pages are all kind of at the end. So that's the first one I have in there. Next up, I have the customizable daily agenda. And for those of you that are not familiar, this just looks like that. So very similar to that um, daily planning notepad I showed you guys. It's just got a rainbow of colors. It's got a space for a checklist and then spaces where you can map out your day. And it's got tons and tons of pages, none of them dated, so I can use them whenever I want, which I do like. Oh, they also have little sticker sheets in the back, which are handy, little cute icon stickers. Um, and they're a little bit different for each. Oh, no, no, these are the same, it looks like. Okay, so there's that. Then I put in this um, just lined notebook. This is similar to the Productivity Coil Bounds notebook that I have, just in the petite planner form. This came as a free gift with one of my orders um, over the summer, so I had this in back stock. I decided to stick in there as well. And then I showed you guys this, though I think maybe I have it in upside down. Oh, no, I guess not. It's kind of hard to tell. And then this is just dot grid. So. I love all the little notebooks. I'm not crazy about the folio. I have um, a tr another traveler's notebook that I actually got from Walmart that I love. Unfortunately, they're not the same size, so I can't just use the Erin Condor notebooks in this. Um, this is from the brand Pen Plus Gear from Walmart. I got it um, in the back to school section and it's very, very sturdy, like high quality outside. It's got the little pocket here and the slip pockets. And then it came with the little notebooks. So I don't know if you can buy the notebooks separately. I don't know. All I did was purchase the kit from Walmart. But this is like such better quality than this thing. And this was like eight bucks, whereas this, just the cover was 20 and then each of these individual notebooks are 14 so yeah i'm not crazy about this system i'm not gonna lie I, I don't like this cover i do like the little notebooks i might just pull them out and use them individually but this isn't really doing it for me i do love this i just don't know where i can get the notebooks because they're obviously a different size um i don't know what the size is but this came with um a dot grid one with a ton of pages in this gorgeous gold foil and then this one is like a little weekly layout so this i haven't used yet obviously but um it has the pen loop it's really really beautiful high quality i love it um i just wish i could use my erin condren notebooks in this cover because this cover just stinks so i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know if i'm gonna continue to if I'm even going to attempt to use it with the cover or if I'm just going to take the books out of the cover. If you guys have experience with the Erin Condren planner folio petite system thingy here, let me know if this um, experience is normal for it to be like, I don't know, just kind of wonky and it doesn't feel super protected. It also feels like this could get scratched super easy. I'm just not impressed with the quality. So what am I missing? Am I just expecting too much? I don't know, but that's my little Erin Condren haul. I do love this charm. Super cute. It's got the J on one side and then the little asterisk on the other. So that's a bonus. All right, you guys, and here is what it looks like with that holiday cover on my planner. It's so pretty. I struggled to decide which planner to put it on because... I use so many planners. That's kind of why I was attempting to try out this petite planner system because I thought that if I could have one system that was all of my planners kind of all in one, that maybe I could downsize a little bit. You guys, I have so many planners that I use and I used to be one of these people 
that scoffed at the idea of multiple planners, like how busy can you be? Do you really need that many planners? And this is almost like a syndrome of having too much time on my hands, I'll be honest. Um, I can sit and plan in all of these different planners because I have more time than the average person being a stay-at-home mom. I feel like if I was busier and I had a job outside the home and I had a lot going on, I just wouldn't have time to consult 15 different planners. But since I have the time, I have expanded into so many different planners. So I have my daily duo where I do sort of my typical like day-to-day -day planning. This is what that looks like if you're not familiar. And this is what I was talking about. Like, um, you know, I just have so much empty space most of the time. I skip the weekends usually because I'm not a big fan of the weekend layout. But, I mean, so many pages are going to waste because I just don't need a daily planner every single day. But I like to have the option. So that's the first planner I'm in. And I did put this Joy cover on this planner. Um, mostly as a way to try to get myself to use it on a daily basis. Um, especially with, like, Vlogmas coming up. I'm probably going to need to use this more often. Um, and then I have my meal planning notebook, which is just an Erin Condren productivity notebook where I write out, you know, my grocery list and my meal plan. So I use that every week, not on a daily basis, but yes, on a weekly basis. So if I had like a meal planning petite planner that I could put into a system like this, it might, you know, be a little bit less cumbersome to have a whole like cart full of planners look at it. so many planners and then I have my um, deluxe monthly planner where I do like my transaction tracking um, for my budget that I use every single day and then I have my other budget planner it's just like a lot of planners and notebooks and journals and I thought if I could get a system with just everything all in one place it would be you know, less hectic and more organized. This is growing on me. I don't hate it quite as much now, but see how the books kind of hang out the bottom? Like, I don't know, maybe this is user error. I just feel like the cover's not big enough or the notebooks are too big. I don't know. So I'm still having like a personality crisis. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just know that all of these planners, while I use them all, and I love planning. It's just a lot. It's a little overwhelming. So I got to figure something out. Let me know what planner system you guys use.